It's no surprise the issues surrounding climate change have been so prevalent in the mainstream media. This is because we are told it could affect the whole planet in the near future. The problem with the media coverage of global warming however is the focus on the political aspect of the issues, and the politicising of science and industry to make changes regarding CO2 emissions and fossil fuels. This is unfortunately a hopeless endeavour. It's well known that CO2 emissions, though originally a major factor in the issue of climate change is not alone as an acting greenhouse gas. In fact, natural water vapours and methane is a far more pressing issue regarding climate change than CO2 emissions alone. This is due to the fact that as temperatures have increased on the planet, this has caused more water vapours from the ocean to form, which in turn create more heat and more vapours, causing a snowball effect of greenhouse gases. Additionally, the agriculture industry is responsible for the majority of methane produced, via the large population of cows on the planet to be consumed. There's over a billion cows constantly digesting and releasing methane into the air, and this is responsible for more trapped heat compared to CO2 emissions by an additional 18%. Now many people just assume that by reducing these emissions we can stop the global warming issue altogether, but this is far from the truth. Interestingly, in 2015, a team from the University of California San Diego discovered the Arctic Ocean wasn't just being heated up from the air, but that something was heating it from underground. This was a brilliant discovery as it showed us that not everything may be as it seems. Researchers from the university said the following. There's a reservoir of heat in the Antarctic Ocean, well beneath the ice that historically when there's been a lot of ice has been fairly inactive. It's just been sitting as a warm salty puddle beneath the surface. Although this heat isn't technically coming from the surface, you could say it's being caused by the surface. What's happening is the shift in temperature from above has helped contribute to the melting of the ice, and increasing water levels. As this pocket of water has started to churn it's then started to move upwards, and it's now having an impact on the Arctic. Many climate change experts compare global warming to that of a car speeding towards a canyon. Reducing the speed will help to buy more time for a more permanent solution, but until the speed is at zero we'll still be racing towards the end. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.